hello again welcome 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 another exciting day today for project rover i've already started doing some work this morning forgot to bring the camera out i've uh, cleaned all the manifold down up here just with a wire brush on a drill just give it a bit of a clean up <clears throat> at the moment i'm taking the radiator right uh, I've undone one of the pipes down there, you can see I've tucked them up in there for a minute, that's for the automatic transmission fluid. So I've got another one to undo, so I might just leave the camera on the wing <coughs> and just carry on filming. I've probably run out of battery life, so I'll have to keep on checking on the camera. Um, I want to get all this off, take the radi radiator out and um, go from there. Right, I'm going to try and see... If I can put it just there, see what that shows. Not a bloody lot. Okay, I'll put it like that. Yeah, that would. Just get some put underneath for a minute. just about see when the battery runs low on the camera okay right I'm gonna be filming taking these pits off as well later on the radiator is coming in. shut the camera <coughs> Bloody radiator, there it is. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not gonna like cock up at this. Um, and then when you put it in, then you think you can see what you're doing. Yeah. And light is shining on me. Um, yeah, that should be alright. We'll go from there. Right. I think you should be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, a lot of it's going to be doing down the bottom here for the minute. And um, i just got to get this other pipe off. I'm going to do this one. <coughs> Unfortunately, you can't see what I'm doing. Come on, you bugger. There he is, he's come loose. Right. I've got a bucket underneath as well to catch all the fluid case any really does come out. <coughs> also got a bit of a cough today as well. Long story. So I won't bore you with it. <sighs> Not too bad a day today, it's quite nice. Nice bit of sun out today. I say it's warm but it's certainly very nice today. So I might get quite a bit done. Expansion tank. I don't remember I'm having the expansion tank. 
haven't cleared one on the expansion tank on the three so. uh, Yeah, we're getting there, we're just moving around, just doing odd jobs here and there. Oh. One thing and another. That's better. That's cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, I cleaned all the front height, it's all done. There's little bits and pieces running. Brick and sand and shit everywhere. Yeah, get all the crap off, done all the top of the manifold, just get that clean off. A couple of belts to be done. Yeah, I've got new belts to go on. Like changing that plastic retard of a clamp over for a proper one. Oh, what, this alternator one? Yeah, yeah probably, yeah. Actually, I might even be able to fabricate something up properly, actually, yeah, a bit still. Could not even have one hanging around. Probably, I've got loads of crap lying around. More sorts of old cars. <coughs> But at the moment, it's just taking up all the brackets off here. Give this clean. Give you a real touch yeah. Got to plumb the heater back in. No, I've got to get new hoses. They're shot. They're leaky, horrible. Yeah, they were all cracked up right now, so that one was no good. This one was no good. The metal tube will goes along there. Um, no good. <coughs> yeah, that was alright. I cleaned it up. I painted it at the moment. It's in primer, so I'm just going to put some black paint on that. Amused me because well, on the Triumph they used to have the metal tube that ran underneath the manifold. Yes, right. And because hot, 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 yeah. hot, they just used to crumble away. Yeah. So, it's getting there? It's getting there, yeah. It's just in the ground, isn't it? Well, you really do. Can't do anything major this time of year, can no. no. I think I'm going to be driving it for a minute anyway. I want to get all this crap done and anyway, get it all tidy Take up. Take the fan off, put a, put a lecky one on. No, no, it should, should be alright. If it starts over even, then I will, but I think it should be alright. I don't do a lot of mileage anyway, do I? I mean, I don't very Maybe double that. figures? Maybe 10 or 12? <laughs> I mean, look at the I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> annually here. <laughs> <laughs> that Rover 800 hadn't moved much. But, uh, yeah, it's looking tiny. As you say, uh, you can do bits and pieces, you know. Probably find that annoying vacuum leak or... Yeah, it's just, just going for it really, just sort of out. <clears throat> I mean, the tank's all cleaned out now anyway, so it still fuels out. Safety water and then start up. <laughs> oh, that would run. This one. <laughs> yeah. Are you walking some more dogs? Three more, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to go in and have something to eat or even sit down. Yeah. Well, crack on and get this done, I suppose. Is there any seepage from the side plate? No, no, they've all been eat done all them ages ago. The guy did. I don't know when he done them, but. Um, goo around the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it's like the, like the water, I mean, I drained the water before Christmas, I mean, for the three months it had been sat here, I was expecting rust to be in the water, but it was as clear as can be. Absolutely clear. No rust came out or anything. Could be all the rust trapped somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, going to go, <laughs> <laughs> and have a rust, a, a rust pellet somewhere. Yeah, I won't surprise me. It'd be like the problem there, but that old Zodiac, wasn't it? Oh, good. Oh. Because I had trouble with the trap. It's kept overheating, kept overheating, kept overheating. So I thought, oh, I'll do the head gasket. Mm. Uh, it took me three days to get the head off. It was actually welded on. When I finally got the head off, nothing wrong with the head gasket. Checked it everywhere, nothing at all. Looked in. Waterways looked nice and clear. Yeah. Wow. So I thought, oh, well, I got the head off. I'll replace some of these hoses. And I replaced the hose going <coughs> like to the top there. Mm. Right? And there was a great big <coughs> lump of solid congealed rust mm. held together by Shit. God knows <laughs> what it was held together by but it was letting nothing through. Yeah, I had the same problem on that SD1 Ruber, that blue one I had. It kept over in it turned out to be just a, a pipe on the top of the uh, inlet manifold. Just totally blocked. So if it's me taking the head off this fucking thing. Right? Good. But, uh, but they're easy to do once they've been off once, mm. but bloody hell, welded on, even dragging the fucking thing along. Mm. Compression wouldn't blow the fucker <coughs> off. Because it was weld, it was actually rusted to the studs, mm. not rusted to the head. And I'm like, Ugh. so I got um, a little tool that actually broke the studs and screwed them out. Mm. So I had to get a whole new set of head studs and uh, I'd done it and it went on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> never overheated. I was going to put a electric fan on it for the summer, but it never overheated. Go to the middle and then go back, go to the middle and then back. The only time it went above the middle is if you're doing like a constant, <coughs> say 90 on the motorway. Yeah. And then it'd just go a little bit further and then... Yeah, as they do. <laughs> I always reckon the thing about the... Pe the um, yeah, 
a good shell with a rotten engine and put a BMW 325i unit in it <laughs> with a four speed automatic box. Yeah. Going shell for shovel, isn't it? <laughs> you bear in mind it was fast enough with 105 brake horsepower. Think of what it would be like with 190. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't have anywhere to mi mix your cocktails because the engine was constantly on. Mm. Oh. Put your drink on the top, it's <clears> mixed <throat> up by the time you finish with it. Yeah. Now, the only time I've done anything like that was where an engine change, put something bigger in a car, it was a Mark II Zephyr. Five litre Mustang engine in it. I dropped a three litre Granada engine into a Mark V Cortina. <laughs> that hard work. Talk about not fitting. Yeah. Of course, the engine mounts and the suspension and everything was in the way. And the radiator had to be. How did we find the radiator from? It's a Japanese car, I think it was a Toyota, I can't remember now, but it had to be shorter but thicker. Yeah. Because you had to take the fan off anyway because there was no room for it, so you had a fan on the front. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it went in there. Uh, don't really know big difference because it was changing from a 105 brake horsepower 2 litre engine to a 135 brake horsepower 3 litre engine. <laughs> I think the extra ton and a half at the front made up for the 30 horsepower you were getting. <laughs> and the springs, we had to get, um, you didn't get Granada springs, you had to get console springs. Yeah. Console GT springs, because yeah. they were long enough and hard enough and firm enough to take the weight. So, because if you got the Granada springs, it would sit about two inches higher at the front, and you'd be like driving along like you're looking at a fucking sunroof. <laughs> Yeah. To, yeah, manifolds had to cut them and run them different way, and because you know Cortina wasn't okay. It, they had a two-three engine, but that was a narrower angle altogether. Yeah, they were Cortina. Yeah, it was only a small engine anyway. But uh, <coughs> it's amazing that a, a ninety horsepower sixteen hundred, hundred and five horsepower two liter, hundred and fifteen horsepower two point three. <laughs> Now what they got? A little one liter Fiesta with 125. Yeah, it's unbelievable how technology's changed. But well, mind you, how long will the Fiesta engine last? Mm, exactly. Nothing lasts today, though, does it? <coughs> these things here. It's like I always used to say: is like if you're going on holiday and you didn't have any oil in the engine of your Ford, you knew you could drive there and back, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, well, I know that. My missus bloody didn't put no oil in her um, KA one time. We went all the way to Gatwick and back again. Once I got home, I checked it, there was hardly any oil in there. They run on it, don't they? Not a bad little car, actually, that little K8. It's alright. The thing with those is rust. Yeah, I And the RSM, the, the fuel filler, yeah. and all sorts of other areas like that. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, if you can get a nice one, they're, they're, they are a nice little car. Yeah, they're alright. If right. you can get the sport car, they're quite a nippy little handler. Yeah, they're alright. Yeah, like 1600 in that one. Yeah, I think bad really for what they are. But, uh, Everything they made in Poland sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Just think of what they used to manufacture. <laughs> Polskis and FSOs, and now look what they're spitting out. Yeah, I know, I've had an FSO. 500s, Fords, BMWs. I think they got a Mercedes factory there now. That would surprise me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So. Mind you, Renault makes some nice ladders now. Have you seen all the, the new type ladders that they, they're doing? Well, they're SUVs and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a nice little mixture of things they do. And you can still buy a Neva. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> with, a sport, with a sporty 1700 engine with 90 brake horsepower. Yeah, but they're good for off-roading though. <laughs> Not good for rust though. <laughs> okay, right, let's see if we can get this off. Come on, yep, up here. He's coming. Come! There we are, right, he's off. Right, put 
that one down over there because I should take that off later on. That's batch and bowl. So I don't know why it's got one. Come on, you little shite, get down there. There we are. Right, let's take this top radiator hose off. I take it you can still see roughly what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. too bad. I might get a new one. I don't know. Let's see how I feel. <coughs> right, I'm going to take this radiator out. <coughs> so it's ready for a clean up. Get it painted. I'm sorry about my coffin. So long ago, I've done one of these. Even though I like Rovers. Never, not really. Done a lot of work on them over the years. Only SD1 Rovers. I had quite a few SD1 Rovers as well. <coughs> the only other P6s I had were three fives. I had two three five S's and two ordinary three fives. Basket cases, not one of them was, was ropey, basically just junk really. Just to try and make one good one, but in the end, um, I ended up breaking them up, selling more or less parts, <coughs> which is a bit of a shame because uh, I didn't think I was going to bother with another piece of Trover. And then uh, a bit later on, this one came along, and I ended up buying it. Said like five years ago was the last time, maybe a bit longer. I had a uh, P6 Rover. Like I said this one came along, and um, I paid over the odds for it. I know, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. At the end of the day, it's my car. I do what I want with it. Now. <coughs> Oh, my God. 
sorry everybody, I don't mean to be keep coughing. is getting bit more. I don't know when I'll get this film on. I don't know if I'll get it on tonight or maybe tomorrow. That's all cordon because my missus is working. She's the one who does all this. Um, puts it all on the internet for me. the radiator right nice lot of stones all stuck on this uh, front balance on the inside screwdriver and break all them off I think very stuck on there right get the bolts out of there all these are uh, a good clean up later on uh, I'll stick them up here on top of the scuttle panel for a minute <coughs> always comes in handy that scuttle panel okay <coughs> One radiator, right? Like I said the hoses are just here. A bit of rag put around them, just pushed up upright. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take this fan off and um, rub this down. This will also have a coat of paint as well. We do it all yellow and um, make it look pretty. All right, let's see if I can put this back. You can roughly take it out of the way, and you can see what I'm bloody doing. Hopefully. Uh, well, just about see what I'm doing. How about if I, uh, think about that. <coughs> there we are, that's a little bit better. You can roughly get the rough idea of what I'm doing. Okay, right, uh, alright, let's find some more tools. <coughs> I bet the neighbour's first thing, what's he chatting to himself out here for?
So they're all nicely loose. jobs I had to do when I was mentioning about the brakes as well as bleeding them the reason why I had to bleed the brakes is because there was like I said the brakes didn't work very well and um, oh, I come on. <coughs> yeah the brakes didn't work very well and also I didn't have no brake lights so I needed a new brake light switch so I fitted that and then blended all the brakes and that's when I found that this front passenger side caliper had lots and lots and lots of air in it so that's probably why the car wasn't stopping very well. Because um, when I drove the car home, as well as it running like a horrible pig, I had to do left footed braking as well as keep a little bit of acceleration going to keep the car going. Guys, it was a nightmare. <coughs> right. Let's get this tap off. <coughs>
that's some WD. like it's been replaced at some point maybe the last previous time I've done it that's the reasons why the water and everything that is all nice and clean in the car when I've drained it <clears throat> maybe topped up before I bought it <laughs> yes right so that's <coughs> <coughs> oh, a big bolt isn't it to get that uh,
talking to Fred as he was going up, he was a bit on the hot, crusty side. <coughs> Certainly nice and warm now. I'll put that one up there. Now that's all cleaned up. I'll put the spanner on down there. You can actually buy all new rubbers for this. I'll see what these are like. There's a crap on us. Nice big ones. seeing everything what I'm doing but I think you'll get the gift well the idea of what I'm doing gift gift Sometimes if you can't remember where things go, it's always best to take pictures before you take it all apart. Sometimes a book doesn't always tell you perfectly what you're doing.
still buy them on eBay anyway. <clears throat> on you still need to work with bloody things. Uh, I usually wear two pairs of gloves. Unfortunately this, this one's breaking. And so uh, where's that gone? There it is. <coughs> oh this I won't clean enough. Off of there. I'm not clean all of this off. I mean it's disgusting enough. It looks horrible. I'm also gonna take this rocket cover off. Not today, another day I'll do that, and um, I'll clean all this old excess paint which is flipping off. I've got a new gasket as well to go on there. This one was a cork gasket, I've got a rubber gasket, I don't think there's any difference. Really. I think the rubber one should fit. I was told it will. Right 
cleaned it up and got all the muck off inside. Because it's quite clean on this side. But very dirty around here and here on that side. So <coughs> there's a bit of gasket see that air up. I'm not sure if he done something with the timing on this as well. But I'd say it runs like a bloody pig. My head was all out of place. So I don't know if he's replaced the timing chain. Uh, I don't know. The only thing I can do is wait and see and just start it up again. How it sounds. And if it sounds like a bag of nails, sounds horrible, then I'll have to uh, invest in another engine crane. And take the bloody engine out of here, I suppose. Yeah. <coughs> This looks fairly new actually, this water pump, there's a lot of dirt on it, but it does look very new. <laughs> Sorry, very new. Um, this I'll take off as well, so I'll get new bushes for that, new rubbers stick in there, because that's, that is important really. And, and just, and just, yeah, I was under paint that up as well, but you can see it. We give all this wire brushed out and give it all a good clean. I've actually taken these alternators off and I usually strip them down and give them a good old clean. And um, paint the pulleys and stuff on um, So yeah, we'll crack on now I suppose and uh, get a bit more done. If not I might... Um, Yeah, so I want to get this bracket cleaned up. I've got a bit of spraying to do as well, so I probably won't film any of that. Um, I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. It's just, like I said, taking bits off, giving it a good clean, and um, putting it back on the car afterwards. And hopefully when you come back, I think I'll probably stop it here now, actually. And when we come back, all this will be nicely cleaned a little bit, best I can, anyway, because the engine's still in the car. So I just clean it up with... Um, Probably, I'll probably a bit of stealth, you know, which came out of the car, really. I'll probably give it a wash over with that. First of all, screwdriver, clean all this off as well, break it all down. And, um, squirt it all down. I might even use a bit of carburetor clean, actually, give it a little deep lease in the back, since that stuff's very good. Dear, but very good to buy and to use, you know, it's, it does, does do its job. It does clean up very well. Anyway, there we go. So you get the gist of what I'm doing. <coughs> Please like and subscribe. I've let this video go on for quite a while. Um, you also hear me neighbour rabbiting on as well. Um, stuff he's done as well. So, oh, a bit of entertainment for you. Just get me washers and whatnot. Oh, that's a big spacer that was. Yes. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I hope you enjoy it, and um, yeah, please like and subscribe, like I've said so many times. So it's a bit more of a longer video this time. I thought I'd just let it run so you can see me doing something. I forgot what part we're on, that part four, I think, now. So anyway, there we go. Enjoy it.